as a blessing of the Lord. That means to speak well of him. That's just to say that he's a good guy. He's a very good guy. Hallelujah. When he said, I'm blessed Lord at all times, that means that in spite of what we're doing, in spite of the sickness, in spite of the financial craziness, in spite of the craziness in the family, I will bless the Lord. I bless him. I will say that he is above all our situations and circumstances. He's greater than what we want. Hallelujah. He's a great God. Amen. Hallelujah. It is a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. As David said, I'd rather be in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Isn't it good to be alive? Hallelujah. And come to the house of God where you can worship yes. and come for the word so that you can be fed and, and go out and walk his word. Hallelujah. Walk the word. And the last week on. When uh, Bishop doesn't want to know who's going to be here and who's not going to be here since someone will be leaving early for convocation. And and I, and I was letting him know that I'll be here. He gave me the assignment to bring forth his word. Amen. And it is a privilege to be on this uh, pulpit to bring forth the word. Amen. Not because of ourselves, but because of another God has chosen you for this hour that he wants to use you Amen. as he sees fit. You see that when God gives you, he's not looking for you to try to um, be like someone else. Say so, sir. I, I, you know, although um, the world flows from the head down to the feet, yeah. we're not we're not called to be clones of our of our pastors. Yeah. That's right. True. We're called to be sons. Yes. However, we have our own uniqueness. Amen. Amen. Just like um, just like I made um some. So it's like some were, were sitting here. People, um, because of how, how I look, people know me as Elsie's son. Yes. Come on, but I'm not Elsie's son. Come on. <laughs> because I have my own you, Come on, Come on here. Okay, my mother has her own uniqueness. Yes. Yeah. So God calls us to, God wants to use us in our personalities where we, he can use us to bless the people. God's looking for originals, not carbon copies. Come on, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Say so. Okay. I'm an original. And that's why I got that early one week notice. And I understood that we're going to get a, a two minute, a, a, a one hour notice, or a two day notice, or yeah. a week notice. Always be ready. Be also ready. Be also ready. We're not going to use that scripture. Be also ready because it has nothing to do with preaching. Has something to do with being ready for the second coming of Christ, but Hallelujah. the better scriptures preach and rightly divide that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Make it plain. <laughs> yes. Give an honor to my to God the Father, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. and my Comforter, who is the Holy Spirit. Yeah, Lord Jesus. Give an honor to um, the Shepherd of this house in his absence, Bishop George Elliot Gibson. Man. Who not only is a pastor but also a teacher and yeah. theologian. Yeah. Why don't you give God praise for him? Yeah. He's on. Yeah. I mean, he's not biased, but he's one of the best preachers on this side of heaven. Come on, son. Uh, Amen. Not because, not just because um he has all the degrees, but also because of the oil in his life. Yes. yes. And how he's a, a student in teaching the word of God. Yes, sir. Not praising the Lord for him. And I thank him for this opportunity to break forth the word. Give, also give an honor to his beautiful wife. First lady in our family. Woo! One of the powerful yeah. the word of God. Yeah. You feel power by our yeah. mouth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Give an honor to all the, the ministers, the deacons, and the rest of the congregation. I know it was a um, few weeks ago. If God has been on um, word a message in my spirit concerning the topic of faith, and this word would all uh, bless you as it blessed me. Amen. 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 
So in respect for the word, um, let us stand. I'm turning. Let's turn to the book of Mark chapter 5, verse 35 to 43. Do we have to say amen? If we don't have it, say, slow your roll. Slow your roll. I just wanted to say it. Mark chapter 5, verse 35, verse 43. Amen. Verses 45, 35 to 43. Amen. Amen. And it says in the New King James Version, while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house who said, your daughter is dead. Mm. Why trouble the teacher any further? And as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, do not be afraid, only believe you. And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. And he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw Matoma and those who wept and well loudly. Then he came up and when he came in, he said to him, why made this commotion with you? The child is not dead but sleeping. And then and, and they ridiculed him. But when he had put them outside, he took the father and the mother and child. And those who were with him and entered there where the child was lying. Then he took the child by the hand and said, uh -huh. Talitha Kumai. When it's translated, literal, I say to you, arise. Immediately the girl arose and walked, for she was 12 years of age, and they were overcome with great amazement. But he commanded them strictly that no one should know it, and, and said that something should be given her to eat. This is the word of the Lord. That is blessed. Let's lift the Lord prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we praise you. We thank you, God. We glorify you. We honor you, God. We give you all the praise that's due to you. Father, God, we thank you that this is the day that you have made. God, bless the ears of your listeners, God. Touch the hearts of the people so that you can receive the word, God, and apply it to our lives. God. Father, God, as I go into this sacred word, God, Father, God, allow just in the decrease so that you can increase and have your way, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the word that's called for and never turn to your Lord. And for that, God, we give you praise and thanks that's due to you in Jesus' name. You say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll be um, bringing from this title of the message, Faith as the Antidote to Anxiety. Amen. Amen. For the Psychology Today website on June 29th, 2012, anxiety expert Dr. Graham C.L. Davy has written an article called The Psychological Effects, Effects of TV News mm. with the question, negative news on TV is interesting, but what are its psychological effects? In this article, Dr. Davy showed how bad news have brought a negative effect on mental and, and emotional health. He showed that feeding the mind with negative news on television can cause negative mood experiences, including anxiety, sadness, anger, and disgust. And as a result of feeding bad news, some people ended up with the bad news that affect how they interpret events in their lives, what memories they recall, and how much they worry about the events in their lives. Dr. Dean doesn't, doesn't deny that the fact that bad news, including crime, political unrest, violence, war, and famine happen in the world. Plus, he believed that the people should be aware of the news. However, the Muslimization of bad news by news broadcasters have produced anxiety based on overemphasis of the potential negative outcome. In other words, emotionalizing bad news has produced broadcasters as scaremongers who produce the fear mm -hmm. of the future. Mm -hmm. In 1997, Dr. Davey and psychological experts had conducted a study 
looking at the psychological effects of viewing negative news items. What psychological experts did was constructing three different four-minute news bulletins. The bad news bulletins include reports on war, terrorism, and catastrophes. The good news bulletins include reports of recovery from illness and wouldn't allow them. Then there's the neutral news bulletins. After showing the three bulletins to the people, participating in a psychological study, studies show that those who watch the negative news bulletin are reported as being sadder and more anxious after watching than those <coughs> who watch either the positive or neutral <coughs> news bulletin. This study shows that not only negative news broadcasts make people sadder and more anxious, but they also exacerbate their own personal worries and anxieties. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Despite the bad news that we have witnessed, we, have, we as believers of Jesus Christ have to believe the report of the Lord over the bad news that were given to us. All of us have given bad news, including diagnosis from the doctors, rejection letters from colleges and employees, employers, and financial credit, financial credit reports. However, God gave us a choice where we want to have faith in him or, or the reports from men. But God wants us to stop placing our eyes on what we see and start placing our eyes on what he can do. Amen. Therefore, we need to place our hope in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. when we are in trying situations. Mm -hmm. John Calvin, the theologian, has said it best. We should ask God to increase our hope mm -hmm. when it's small, when it's small. Awaken it when it is dormant. Mm -hmm. Confirm it when it is wavering. Mm -hmm. Strengthen it when it is weak. Okay. And raise it up when it is overthrown. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. This quote is a reminder that we should build our faith and hope up in order to expect the best rather than the worst. Look at me and say that if you want the positive outcome, positive outcome. build your faith. Yeah. Build your faith. And your hope up. And your hope up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 5, verse 40, verses 35 to 43 show that J. Iris was an example of using faith as the angel to, to exile. Before we get to the steps towards walking in faith, we must understand that the role of Jairus in the, in the story in the main of the name Capernaum. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 5 verse 21 to 21 to through 23 show where Jesus fell at the feet of Jesus who crossed with him to heal his daughter who was on the verge of dying. Let me put a diamond meter for that. Okay. What you see is that J. Iris, he, he's a man who, who has a desperate faith. Uh -huh. And he wants the best for his daughter. And he's the type of father who doesn't play when it comes to his daughter. Amen. It's just like with some of you who are parents, you're praying for your child's salvation. You're praying for your child to be delivered from drugs and, and prostitution Amen. and alcoholism and, and, the, and the hand of suicide. You're praying for your child to be killed of cancer, yes. diabetes. Yes. You're praying for your child to, to get a to get a job and to make something to college. Mm -hmm. That's why parents need to have the intercessory faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While traveling to Jairus's house, Jesus encountered a woman who suffered a bleeding disorder for twelve years. Mm -hmm. And spent all her money on the doctors. Mm -hmm. But later on, she took us up by touching the hem of the garment. Before she said, she said, If I touch the hem of the garment, mm -hmm. I'll be made whole. Mm -hmm. That's faith. That shows that, like J.R. saw, the woman that issued blood, she was desperate mm -hmm. for God to do something. She had desperate faith. Mm -hmm. Look at your name and say, You gotta have desperate faith. You gotta have desperate faith. I dare you to hashtag on um, desperate faith. Amen. Hashtag on Facebook and Twitter. Come on. 
Desperate faith. Amen. Desperate faith. Desperate faith. My Lord. And as a result of her desperate faith, Keelan Virtue came to her and and she was healed of her affliction. Amen. Amen. In the sex, Jairus, who is the ruler of the synagogue, which is currently the president of the synagogue, which is a laity um, position, different from the rabbi. And he was the ruler of the synagogue in Capernaum. We saw how, with him being the ruler of, um, Capernaum, of the synagogue in Capernaum, Jairus had the duties of overseeing building maintenance, administration, worship supervision, and finances. Third time, it is unusual for the rule of the synagogue to ask Jesus and itinerant her parents to heal a child. Right. Come on. And we see how back then most of the Jews hated hated Jesus. Yeah. Even though they all um, were waiting for the coming of the Messiah, yeah. Yeah. but they were not satisfied. But Jairus was different from the Jews because he, he had the faith to believe that God would heal a child. Yeah. Come on. So that lets us know that. Faith moves on Jesus, whether it be Jew or Gentile. Amen. That's good. And yes, even though it may be unusual for him as a ruler of the synagogue to ask request for Jesus to heal his child, we see how Jesus Christ met his request because of his desperate faith. Mm -hmm. In order to appreciate the text, you must understand the meanings of Capernaum and J. Iris. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about Capernaum, which is this, which is the sea coast of Galilee, that's between the territories of Naphtali and Zebulun, mm -hmm. is that Capernaum is derived from the Greek transliteration of the Hebrew word Kapar Nahum, uh -huh. also known as Nahum's village, Come on. meaning the village of comfort. This let us know that being a part of the local church and being in fellowship with fellow believers bring us comfort when we go through bad news. That's let us know that the church of Jesus Christ is comparing the place of comfort. Yeah. Meaning that the church can't, can't hurt you, even the, but the people in the church may hurt you. Yeah. That's why the church is the hospital because none of us are perfect. Amen. That's why we come here to be perfected Amen. and to be comfort. By God. Amen. So not, not let you know that you shouldn't give up on church because of crazy people in there. Amen. Amen. Speak that. You need Jesus just like we do. Speak that. Amen. That's why you should come to church because you love the Lord and you need to get something from Him. Yes. Amen. Speak on that. Say it, sir. That's why we need to be. We need to fellowship and to get built up. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's not in the message that I wrote. But I had to give a commercial break. Now I'm back to the program. <laughs> that was free. <laughs> when you look at J.I., you can put yourself in his place because you understand that we have been hit with bad news that troubles us. J. Iris was in a troubling situation where one of his servants at the house told him the bad news that his daughter was hit with the sickness was on the verge of dying. Mm -hmm. but, we, but despite being troubled with the bad news, the name J. Iris is a significant name because it means Jehovah enlightens. Mm -hmm. Because God enlightens us during dark times, we can be able to walk in faith. The rapper by the name of Cardi B would say, I make money moves. Okay. <laughs> but we as Christians got something better because instead of us making money moves, we make faith moves. Amen. Amen. That's good stuff. Amen. Because when you make faith moves, you don't have to worry about money because money will follow you and say, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Amen. When you make faith moves, Amen. you must understand that faith, that faith will take you places yes, where your money can't take you. Yes, sir. You're talking up in here, bro. Because. <laughs> Because if you make faith moves, well, 
you don't have to worry about how your needs be taken care of because God supplies all your needs, of course. Yes, He does. Because the Bible, the Bible says that He does it. You see, person came for God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All these other things. Yeah, all these see. things. You don't worry about tomorrow. Before Hallelujah. Tomorrow. Take, Take care of His day. Because when you understand that you'll be able to make faith moves instead of money moves. Amen. And because faith is that. the kingdom currency. Yes. Yes. Faith gives us places and things where money cannot take it. Yes. Yeah. And it says, let's, let's explore the three things that are the antidotes to anxiety. The first step is believe what God has said in his word. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 5 verse 35 show when Jairus has heard the news from the service from the service from his house that his daughter is dead. After hearing the the news that his daughter was dead, J. Iris in verse 36 had heard from words where Jesus comforted him and said, do not be afraid, only believe. Only believe. This shows that Jesus explained that the antidote to J. Iris' anxiety is, is faith mm -hmm. and belief. belief. Although belief and faith can sometimes be synonymous with each other. Mm -hmm. Belief sometimes can be antithesis to faith. Wow. Mm -hmm. And here is are, are, are the examples of belief being both synonymous with an antithesis to faith. Belief is synonymous with faith only when you believe without seeing them. Mm. Mm. For example, you believe that you believe that your dog would do a great job at a dance recital because you have the confidence that she's a great dancer. Come on. Yeah. However, belief sometimes can be antithesis of faith only when you require a visual proof to believe a statement or a principle. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Case in point, jurors would require visual evidence before believing whether or not the defendant is guilty mm -hmm. in a criminal case. The difference between belief and faith is that belief sometimes requires sight, while faith doesn't require sight. Amen. When you look at the word believe, the word believe is derived from the Greek word pisto, which means to be convinced of the word God. Yeah. Mm. In other words, in other words, belief has something to do with accepting God's word as true. Yeah. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says that faith comes by hearing, hearing. Yes. and hearing the word of God. Yes. Yes. Therefore, you have to hear the infallible and taught word of God in mm -hmm. order to receive the promises that God has in store for you. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says that faith is the substance of the things hoped for mm -hmm. and everything yes. and evidence of things are unseen. Yes. So if faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things that are, are not seen, we have to believe that the outcome would be great without focusing too much on the circumstances mm. of Amen. what God can do. Amen. Amen. My favorite early church father, Augustine of Hippo, said, his, said it best. Faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. Therefore, in order to see what you believe, we have to place your faith in what God can do in your life. Amen. When you walk in faith, you don't need to feed your spirit with the bad news. Amen. What we hear determines how we believe. Right. Also, what we believe determines our language which leads to live. Wow. When we accept the bad news, we end up with the negative language and negative life. But when we reject the bad news and accept the good news, we will have a positive language and a positive life. When we see people live, when we see people living despite being hit with sicknesses and and disease sicknesses and diseases and having sicknesses and diseases in their family, we understand that they live longer because they believe God's report over the doctors who Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you believe that you are healed by the stripes of Jesus. Hallelujah. Christ, and speak healing scripture all over yes, yourself. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes. What happens is that you receive healing. Mm -hmm. Because Christ died on the cross for your salvation and healing, generational curses have no dominion over you. Amen. Come on now. 
He has broken the curse on the cross of Calvary so that we can live a blessed life. Yes. This is a reminder that having faith in Jesus Christ enables us to overcome the generational curses and to pass on the generational blessings. The truth is that people don't die early because of generational sicknesses, but they die early because they speak the negative over their lives and out of their mouths. They claim sicknesses instead of healing. Like, because because daddy got cancer, I'm going to have to, I might die for you. Mm -hmm. um, because mama got, got diabetes, I live with that. Or because, because grandma got MS, I'll get that. Cancel these words out. Amen. Cancel, Cancel it. Avoid Kill on these it. Words. Yeah. Put a void on these words. Put a void on these words. Put a void on those words. Put a void on those words. You got to avoid it like you would void on a check. Amen. You can try to write, but you don't want to get the money out. So put that boy on <laughs> negative confession and yeah, replace with a positive confession. Yeah. So instead of saying, my mom, you sick, you better say, by the short time, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Come on. Healing is my bread. Instead of saying, I don't know where the money's going to, I don't know where the check is going to You gotta say, my God, supply. All my needs. Yeah. Your Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta say, my God's going to call on a thousand hills. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Land flowing with milk and honey. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 says, Hallelujah. That death and life is out of the power of your of tongue. tongue. Uh -huh. Those mm -hmm. will eat the fruit of it. Love it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's better to speak like when you're in death situation. Yes, now, my, my Lord. Enables us to overcome generational curses and sicknesses. Faith also enables us to change our thinking concerning giving. Jesus. When you tie to the local church and, and give above your time, you're taking a step of faith, trust God to supply all of your needs. Amen. Amen. We have lived in a crazy Amen. economy where there are there are job losses and closing of companies. Mm. Mm. However, we as Christians don't live according to the worldly economy. Well, as I say, faith is the currency of God's kingdom. Yes, it is. We live according to kingdom economy because God is Jehovah Jireh, the God who he provides. Is provider. When we pray and send our petitions to God, we speak, have to speak His promises according to His word and, and use our mouths to speak to our situation. When we speak to our situations, we can tell how big God is. Amen. After you believe, the second step, the second faith step as an antidote to anxiety is. Be aware of your connections. Mm. Somebody said, Ooh. That's important. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33 tells us that bad company corrupts good character. Yes. Yes. This shows that yes. bad company can hinder our walk with God, mm -hmm. especially with our faith level. Mm -hmm. wow. Galatians chapter 5 tells us that faith is the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So, if faith is the fruit of the Spirit, we have to be mindful of who we're connected to because there are some who have a lower faith level and, and there are a bunch of pessimists. Yeah. Not only that, they can be bringing, them, bringing doom and gloom yeah. when you want to walk in hope, which is in Christ Jesus. Wow. Yeah. And we saw in Mark chapter 5, I'm in the text. Uh -huh. We have said, it, we see it in verse 37 and in 38, we saw how only Jesus permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Right. This is because Jesus had prepared for, for a future ministry. Yeah. And then he saw that they were they were mature in the faith. Yeah. Come on. And in verse 17. We have seen that despite Jesus um, setting ground rules that only Peter, John, James, and, and James's brother John could follow him, we see how the professional wars were, were stalking him. Because mm -hmm. they hear about him coming to the village of um, Capernaum. Uh -huh. and, when they, and when they hear about Jairus' daughter um, dying, 
And we see how the professional warriors, they, sh they show up at the house. When we see the professional warriors, we have to understand that the professional warriors have been part of the Hebrew custom because the men had to remain strong for their family. Mm -hmm. In other words, it was main law violation for men to cry at the funerals of their loved ones who died. I know we hear about hear hear that saying big boys don't cry, yeah. real men don't cry. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yes, yeah. you do. If you love, you do. But that's a misnomer because it's okay for men to cry Amen. before the Lord. Yeah. My God. Mainly, the professional mourners are women who learn the skill of lamenting, according to Jeremiah chapter mm -hmm. nine, verse mm -hmm. seven. Because of the fact that they lost their husbands and sons to the war. Yeah. And I have two questions concerning these professional mourners. Number one, did Jairus hire the professional mourners? Oh. No. The answer is no. Right. Yeah. If yeah. Jairus did not hire the professional mourners, who sent for them? Who, who, sent, who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? Come on, that's good. That's good, sir. And we have seen how since J. Iris didn't send for the professional warriors to come to his house, they took advantage of the fact that Jesus arrived in Capernaum. Mm -hmm. Not only that, they also, they also knew that J. Iris was wealthy because he was the president of the synagogue. Yes. So whenever, um, whenever they hear about someone having money and hear about their relatives dying, you know, the professional warriors will fall down yeah, yeah. because they want to get, get some corn. Uh -huh. okay. It's just like the back of the street would look at people in suits because they're looking at who they can bum off of. Uh -huh. So therefore, they will take advantage of J.R.S. situation because they're trying to make money for the acts that they perform. Mm. And, and they're not mourning for real. Yeah. It is all uh, performing for an Oscar. Performance, yeah. For an Emmy or a yeah. Gold Globe. Yeah. Trying to win Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. In other words, they did not have J.R.S.'s interest at heart. No. Therefore, the therefore Jesus Christ had put the professional mourners in chat telling them that J.R.S.'s daughter is not dead but asleep. But asleep. Look at your name say the funeral's canceled. Oh, the funeral's canceled. Hallelujah! Come on here. Pity party's over. The funeral's canceled. The funeral's canceled. I got that. The funeral's canceled. Pity party's over. Pity party's over. Hallelujah. Now, if Mrs. Brown from Nathan Brown say, this is not, this ain't no funeral, this is a celebrate. Celebrate. Oh, yes, right. It's a celebrate. It's a celebrate. Because of what we go through. And when Jesus Christ said that the girl is asleep right now, he was saying that death is a is temporary sleep. Amen. So they can show the people the power, his power to resurrect. My God. After the Moors laughed at Jesus for making a statement because of their unbelief, they had to be kicked off the property so that miracles won't be hindered. That's right. Kick them out. Only the girl's parents, Jesus, on the girls' parents, Jesus, Peter, James, and Paul, James and John, were allowed to be in the house so that the miracle would take place because unbelief could not reside in the home. That's right. Just Got like to go. Iris, we have to be aware of who we're connected to because mm -hmm. not everybody who we're connected to have our best interests at heart. True. Just like G. Iris encountered the professional warriors, we all have. Professional mourners in our life. Mm -hmm. The professional mourners are the people who want to listen to God, Juicy and Lisa and David, gossip like Wendy Williams. Right. Like, how are you doing? Ah! <laughs> you too. And, and then you see all professional mourners today, you see how professional mourners will, will crash funerals in order to get some fried chicken, some mm -hmm. rolls, some rolls, <laughs> some mac and cheese, some milk. <laughs> And they don't want someone to Amen. And that's why when you go through, you cannot share the information with everybody. With everybody. That's it, sir. That's everybody it, sir. Everybody has your best wishes out. Speaking good. 
Therefore, it's essential to protect the ear gate in order to walk in faith. Amen. When we check our connections, we have to see if the people whom, we're, whom we connect are either beneficial or de detrimental to, to us. Mm -hmm. When you go through a sickness, especially if you have been diagnosed with cancer, you want to surround yourself with people who have great faith, especially great when you faith. go through sickness. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to surround yourself with those who live in pity park, live in pity and talk about dying young. Right. right. Get that mess out of you. Get it out. But if you have great faith, God would surround a person with a little faith so that you can build up his or her faith. Mm -hmm. The only way you're going you to connect with those with little faith is that they want to build it up. Right. Not if they want to let it down. This is good. The professional mourners back in the day are like the current ones whom, whom, we, have to, whom we have to be in our pity parties. But Christ, Christ has given you the goodness and pity parties are over. Amen. Therefore, the funeral is canceled. Hallelujah. You need people who refuse to pity you, but instead would, would challenge your faith so that you can receive what you need from God. From God. Mm. And that's why you got to be careful what you share your vision with because not everybody mm. is going to be happy with you. Mm -hmm. Some are just looking at your current situ situation. Ah! Like, I can't do it. That's right. But if you have a vision and want to connect with what well, people got to connect with the right ones, yeah. Yeah. Who, who that say, you can do all things in Christ and church. Amen. God got you. I got you. And when it comes to challenging your faith, it's essential to be careful who, who we select to pray with. Mm -hmm. Amen. Even, even though they have collars, robes, and titles, well, we have to refrain from asking everybody to pray because yeah. some don't have your best interests at heart. Amen. Some would hear some information and use it against you. Mm. And and judge your situation yes, and speculate in the, in the guise in the guise of discernment. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part. And when you select someone to touch and agree with you on certain things so that your faith will be true, you have to pray about who's the right person to be your prayer partner. Yeah. Even though you can't get someone to touch and agree with, you have to get before the throne of God for yourself and use a biblical principles that you were taught. Mm -hmm. When you connect with the right people with great faith, your faith will be strengthened. And after watching your connections, the third step is to, the third precept that's the antidote to anxiety is see the results of expectation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after then. kicking the professional warriors off of Jairus' property, Jesus, in verse 41 of Mark chapter 5, was able to perform the miracle of the girl who was Jairus' daughter. Yeah. So after booting the unbelievers out the, off the property, yeah. Jesus was able to perform miracles because you see how faith moves him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Jesus took the hand of the girl and said, Talitha Kuma, mm -hmm. which is the Aramaic translation for little girl rise. Uh -huh. As a result of these words Jesus spoke over, this girl, this little girl arose and began to walk. What's interesting about the age of this little girl is, is that 12 represents governmental order. Yes. Yes, sir. And, and 12, and her age, that's the same age which the woman this year blood had right. suffered for. Mm -hmm. wow. But after, after all the suffering that she went through, God brought order to her health. Amen. Amen. Order. In other words, God is bringing order and turnarounds in your life, varying from finances and help. Amen. Because of G. Iris' intercessory faith, Jesus had to do something that astounded him. Mm. Had Jesus Christ not raised his girl from the dead, the professional mourners would get their pain. Mm -hmm. mm. But since they couldn't hinder the faith of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was moved to perform miracles mm -hmm. because of faith. And because of the miracles that were performed, the professional wars were fired. Yeah. Amen. Fire. Look at your name and say, fire your professional wars. Fire, fire your professional wars. I, I had that. Amen, sir. Look at your name and say, look at your name and say, employ your faith. 
Employ your faith. And, and starve your doubts to death. Starve your doubts to death. Yes. Fire your professionals. Yes, sir. Give a thing a pink slip. No, give down a pink slip. Amen. I dare you hashtag give down a pink slip. Give down a pink slip. And also hashtag employ your faith. Employ your faith. Fire your professional mourners. And because Jesus has performed miracles in the Bible days, he can still perform miracles today. Yes, he will. His, the word says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and forevermore. He never changes. Thank you. And because Glory. he's the same to today, yesterday, and forever, we have to raise up the level of, of our expectation yes, sir. by yes. speaking the word of God over our lives. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us that if we have the faith that is, a, that is like a mustard seed, seed. Uh -huh. We can speak to the you can speak to the mountain and say, yeah, Lord, be thy removed. Be thy yeah. Because as Jair says, Jairus yeah, having the intercession faith for his daughter, we can have the faith for those who we're connected to yes, and love ourselves. Yes. Because we know that the Bible says that the two or three touch of real earth, this shall be established. Amen. Yeah. Established. So we gotta be unself unselfish. Amen, amen. And touch the degree with soul because the same thing that God's going to do for him, that's the same that He's going to do for you. Amen. If you make things happen for them, He make things happen for you. Yes, sir. And because God is a no limit God, hmm. we have to allow God to move in our lives and take the limits off. Yes. And as we close, we have to see how verse 43 of Mark chapter 5 showed. That Jesus Christ told the people that no one should know about the miracle that took place. Mm -hmm. The reason why he made that order is because he was in a town full of unbelievers. Mm -hmm. In other words, they would believe that the girl's resurrection from death was happened by luck and, and coincidence. Mm -hmm. But may I submit to you that this resurrection from death did not happen by luck or circumstance. Yeah. Well, nor, nor it happened by coincidence. Mm -hmm. But it happened because Jesus Christ is a miracle work. Yes, he is. Just like Jairus, when you exercise your faith, yes, you can yes. overcome your anxiety because your condition is not your conclusion. Amen. When miracles take place, it's good stuff. in contrast, it has a lot to do with God being God all by himself. All yes, by himself. Is. And because you have to think I encourage you to employ it so that you won't remain anxious. Unless everybody's standing, we're going to pray.